everyone welcome back to our channel i'm rebecca and today we're going to make another craft for the holidays i'm really excited to show you guys how to make this craft it's so easy to do and so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys this buffalo plaid is so in right now and i just made this really cute little picture frame you can use this for anything you can use it to put a recipe card on in the kitchen to use while you're cooking put some pictures on it even a little ornament to hang down in the middle lots of options this is so easy it took me like 10 minutes literally so simple to make so let's get started okay the supplies we're going to need to make this project is one of these four by six frames from the dollar tree some buffalo plaid wrapping paper also from dollar tree a pair of scissors a pen you're going to need some twine your color of choice you're going to need some accessories like some floral or some little accents some tape and some fixed hull adhesive or hot glue your choice so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to pull this frame apart it's very easy they're just made out of plastic they're held together by these little prongs that just snap together so once i separated the bottom i just carefully separated it all the way around until the little center plastic piece fell out with the clip on it and then put that aside then i took a piece of the wrapping paper flip it upside down and we're going to use our pen and trace the plastic insert that has the clip on it um, all the way around here and we're going to make sure we do it um, on both sides because you know double it because we're going to fold this in half so you can see the buffalo plaid on both sides and not just from the front and now that that is done, what we're going to do is we're just going to cut this out. And this wrapping paper is pretty easy. If you line it up, it actually has the grids on it, so it helps you keep a straight line. Then just fold your buffalo plaid wrapping paper in half, put the insert on top, and just make sure it's not hanging over the edges. If it is, go ahead and clean that up just a little bit. Then we're going to line this up here and just make sure that it is going to stay. And then I'm just taking some of this scotch tape and I'm just going to tape it to the plastic insert and you just kind of put it on the end and fold it over to hold it in place and then I tape all the way around to keep it flat. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to return this to the frame. So I just lay it inside. Don't worry about that tape. You're not going to see it once the frame is put back on. And then we just snap this together back in place. And it looks like you haven't even taken it apart. And looks like this is just the way it came. So next we're just going to add some embellishment. So now that we've got that done, I decided to take one of these little ornament holders I got from Walmart last year in a pack. And I break the little ends off and i'm going to use that to decorate the clip with the little snowflake you can use pretty much anything you want here you don't even have to decorate the clip it's totally up to you then i'm just going to take some greenery i actually got these from the dollar tree i pulled it apart i didn't want the berries on it i just wanted the greenery and the little twig with the snow i hot glue that into place and then i'm just going to make a simple bow using some of the natural colored twine fluff it up a little bit and then i'm going to glue that over the ends of the greenery that i I just glued onto the top so um, you can use your fix all adhesive or hot glue I think the hot glue held just fine here but the choice is yours then all I'm going to do is trim up the ribbons here at the bottom and it is finished from there are a bunch of different ways you can decorate it you can just put some photos on it you can also use it for recipes for when you're cooking in the kitchen I also decorated it with some different um, ornaments from Dollar Tree just to show the versatility of this craft here so it's really easy to make I hope you guys like this as much as I do you could pretty much use it anywhere in your holiday decor which is what makes it so much fun Okay, you guys, and that's it for today's video. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time.